pray that I pray that you are having a blessed night. Praise God. Praise God. I know you all know that I haven't been on here for a moment. And that's because I'm just going to get straight into it. You know, God told me, thus saith the Lord, everybody's just doing a whole lot of talking. This is a moment in time where we're supposed to be praying, staying in position. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If God didn't, don't say to say anything, you don't say anything because too many emotions are high right now. So God is like saying, just pray, pray, pray. So I would not speak until God speaks point story. Because we don't want to say anything out of emotions. So many people have been doing that. I'm talking about apostles, pastors, clergy people, just everybody. Because the emotions are high, said the Lord. So let me tell you what God was saying. God says that, and I'm just going to be very direct. I don't have time to play games. God said, if you knew how many people were underground in bunkers. I'm, I'm going to try to walk this thing out slow. Because guess what? Some of you are not going to understand and some of you are going to think it's crazy. And let me go ahead and do my disclaimer. I don't care if you don't believe me. When God speak, I talk. End of story. God says there are so many people underneath ground in bunkers hiding that were so say killed. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Let me tell you what this world is. This world it is, is a stage. I'm going to try to walk this thing out. Come on, somebody. Why do you think they got Hollywood and movies? Do you think not that they do the same thing in real life? They play head games. Let me tell you what God told me. God says, Deanna, this is what they're doing. They're ushering one world religion. And they're going to use one world love. So all this stuff is gimmicks. Yes, it is. I know it's crazy but it's true um that c19 didn't work it just kind of like did it a little bit right but they had to keep doing all these so-called deaths i'm saying it just like i'm saying it y'all don't understand i'm gonna tell i'm gonna begin again because some people are just coming on god said if you, you knew how many people were under in bonkers that were so say killed that were so y'all ain't ready for me hollywood is really is really real in real life y'all ain't ready for me up in here tonight trying to usher in a new world religion by using one world love okay we're so all destroyed let's come together and at the same time they're going to usher in persecution of christians because they know that we cannot go for that we cannot worship buddha we cannot worship muhammad we cannot worship any other religion but jesus christ of nazareth this is all a smoke screen said the lord he said, don't get sidetracked. He said, it's a distraction. I'm going to say it again. God said, it's a distraction. That's why y'all haven't, you notice I haven't been on here. Because I've been waiting for God. I, I'm not going to speak out emotions. I'm not going to speak out what, I'm not going to speak out what, I'm not going to speak out what other people are saying. I want to hear what God is saying. God said, right now, we need to prepare for persecution. Because that's the next thing. They're going to issue, I'm telling you, they're ushering in new world religion and the new world order. They're all at the same time. And then persecution is going to start because they know we cannot go for that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So what am I saying? Christians, be prepared, God says. Right now, you should be at so much peace. God, strengthen me. God, keep me. God, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because you the God because you're going to need your God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what's getting ready to happen. This world as you know it will never be the same. Because God is allowing them to do what they're doing. But God, we have to get in position. The church is not in position. We're supposed to be so powerful right now. It's not even funny. How is it that this world is operating in fear? Because the believer, the church runs the world. But you can't do that if you're not operating on a supernatural level. I'm going to say it again. Supernatural. That's why I haven't been on here. Let me tell you why you haven't heard from me. Yeah, I post here and I'm gone. I, post, I posted Chef Didi's and I'm gone. But I've been, I've been consecrating. I've been getting ready for the war. Hallelujah. We at war. Y'all playing. We at war. And guess what? It's not a flesh war. It's a spiritual war must be one in the spirit you will wear yourself out in the flesh saith the lord and that's what he thinks to do god says we're in the daniel time where he thinks to wear out the saints 
They're trying to wear you out mentally, physically, and spiritually, said the Lord. He said, do not be fooled. That's what he's talking about. He said, even in the last days, the elect should be fooled. That's what he's talking about. Don't be fooled by these fake deaths. I got to say it again. And look, even if you don't believe me, do me a favor. Just remember I said it. Don't be fooled by these deaths. I'm going to say it one more time for those in the back. Don't be moved by these fake deaths. God said there are so many people underground in bunkers, it would blow your mind. Hallelujah. Y'all better understand what's going on up in here. There's a lot of things going on, God says. And he says the, the average mind cannot comprehend. He says, Top the spirit. Don't you understand what the enemy is trying to do? He's trying to distract us with this, with hate, with this, with that. Keep your mind on Jesus Christ. He said, those that keep their mind stayed on me, I'll give you perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Pray for people right now. You have to pray like never before. We are in, I have, let me tell you something. I never saw so much warfare in my life. And that's why y'all haven't heard from me. I have been praying. And let me tell you how powerful it is. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm finna glorify God up in here. They had a storm. That storm, y'all thought I was playing. That storm was supposed to come here in Abbeville, Louisiana. My, I, I, what I did is I had three witnesses. They thought oh, the storm coming, girl, prepare. I said, the storm ain't coming here. I said, I'm finna go outside and tell that storm where to go. Y'all think I'm lying. My cousin... Prophet is Tanya, and I told one more person, I said, that storm cannot come here because I'm using my authority. I'm going somewhere, not trying to act like I'm all arrogant. I'm trying to tell y'all. I went outside. I said, I just need one person to agree with me. You got to go the other way. I don't know where you're going to go, storm, but you can't come here. That storm went another way. What am I saying? You better know your authority. Luke 10, 19. I don't care what the enemy does. God has given you authority. Speak with it. Talk with it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, I give you authority all over the enemy. That means no matter what he does, what he says, hallelujah, you have authority. Moses had authority. David had authority. Abraham had authority. Joseph had authority. Do you have authority, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, you know what, y'all? Let me tell y'all something what's been happening. I was on YouTube preaching this same message. So what I did is I came to Facebook because they said it was breaking up on YouTube. Breaking up here. You know why they're breaking it up? Because they know I know what's going on. I can't tell y'all what's really happened in the last week. But all I can tell you is, I, oh, I'm going to say this much. I was face to face with cops that lied to my face. I said, oh, this thing getting deep. This thing getting deep, Deanna. You better be strong in the Lord. Y'all, I can't tell y'all what's going on, but I'm going to stand strong because I. Don't, that's what I do. It's getting thick, you guys. It's getting thick, but guess what? I already knew it would. Come on, somebody. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here. We're all going to the next level in supernatural. You're going to have to be so powerful in this hour like never before. But you can only do it through the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't get caught up in this world. Don't get caught up in flesh. Don't get caught up. Uh-oh, I'm about to say it. In this greed. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. God said a lot of people are falling because of greed. Oh, to stop running after money. Yeah, I'm saying it how I'm saying it. Y'all doing some funny stuff for that money. You do some strange things for that change. All right, Judas, you know what's going to happen, Judas. Come on, somebody. You heard what I said, how I said what I said. My God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Yeah, y'all, I, I know it's breaking up. They, they did it on um, YouTube. That's why I came to Facebook. They don't want you to hear this message. Oh, come on, somebody. They know the power. They know the truth. They need to stop. Um, The world is what? I'm going to tell you what God said. The world is one big stage. Y'all better quit falling for that stuff. Ask God to show you the truth. Ask God to show you how many bunkers they got under underground with dead people. So say dead people, let me stop. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me up in here tonight. See, you can't fool a real prophet. Oh, come on, somebody. You can't fool a real prophet. Wake us up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Say, let me tell you the whole story. They're ushering that stuff, you guys. They're ushering in that stuff. New world, one order, and the new world religion. And the persecution of the Christians is all getting ready to happen. I pray in the name of Jesus. Stay strong. Stay strong right now. 
Don't get caught up in this stuff. This is a time of fasting and praying. Only speak when God tells you to speak. If God don't say nothing, you don't say nothing. Don't get in your emotions. Don't get in your flesh. Come on, somebody. Have you? Praise God. Praise God. All right. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. God bless you. God keep you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We, we, oh, I got to say, Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. Jesus Christ is coming. You better get ready. ready. T.D. Jakes was saying it a long time ago, but he don't know how real it was. He's coming back, people. I pray that you're ready. I'm telling you what does say the Lord. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Yep, you're right. You're right. You're right. That um, T. T. Bright, B. Wright Miller. When God was talking to me about that tonight, I was like, because I wouldn't say anything. She's talking about Kanika. I said, Lord, are you serious? They playing like that? Then he took me back, y'all. Do y'all remember when, I think it was in Virginia. I'm not sure where it was, y'all, so don't quote me. Y'all remember when that so-called news people, they got there? That week, I'm like, are you serious? Yes, I Watch him. The whole world is a stage and they're playing games. I say, my God, my God, my God. I'm just praying for everybody to know the truth. That's all I want y'all to do. Know the truth. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Walk in your authority, God says. Remember on it. Luke 10, 19. God said, I've given you everything that you need. Come on, somebody. Walk in your. That's right. Clock is ticking. My God, my God, I, I don't think we know how, how short of a time we have. But all you got to do is look what they're doing. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. And I love you all as well. God bless.